Browns hosting the Niners, and the Niners are now nine and a half point favorites. The over-under is at 35 and a half points. It's fallen again. The Niners are minus 490 on the money line, and the Browns are plus 380. Now, these are the pre-kickoff lines, and if you happen to get these when the line opened, the Viking, the Niners were 40, a four and a half point favorites and minus 215. And now, because it's looking like it's going to be P.J. Watson and not uh, Deshaun, P.J. Walker and not Deshaun Watson, that's why these lines are the way they are. Thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but you will get access to all of my best bets. And I'm really kicking myself in the ass now for not betting the Niners earlier in the week when they were four and a half. Now, the Vikings are fi- uh, Why do I keep saying the Niners are 5-0. and oh. They are 4-1 and one against the spread. And the over is 3-2 and two in the games in which they played him. The Browns are coming off a bye. They're 2-2. Two and two. They're 2-2 two and two against the spread, and the under is 3-1 and one in the games in which they've played him. Head-to-head, the home team is 4-0 and oh in their last four meetings against each other. These teams are 2-2. Two and two. The favorite is 4-0 and oh on the money line and 4-0 and oh against the spread. The under is 4-0, and oh, and the under at 39 and a half was 4-0, and, oh, and at 35 and a half, believe it or not, it is still 4-0. The last time they played was on October 7th of 2019 in San Francisco. The Niners won that game 31-3, and the game before that was in 2015. The Browns won 24-10 at home. Seemingly, these teams are like leap year. Every four years, they play each other. The Niners are 9-1 in their last 10, 7-3 against the spread. They've won and covered the last three games that they've played, and the over is 6-4 in their last 10. The over is hit in their last two games, and they've won the last three games that they've played. They won by 32 by 19 and by 18. Those are their last three victories. Now for the Browns, they are five and five in their last 10, five and five against the spread, and the under is eight and two in their last 10 games. The under has hit in their last two games that they've played, losing by 25 to the Ravens, beating the Titans by 24, losing to the Steelers by four, and then beating the Bengals by 21. I'm not saying P.J. Walker can't come out there and surprise some people, but the Niners have looked like the most well-rounded team in the league, and to think that the Browns are going to win this game, I'm going to say probably is a little bit laughable, but if they do, people are going to come back and point to this video and start making fun of me. I'm going to take the Niners with the money line. I'm going to take the Niners laying the points. And I am going to go over at 35 and a half. I think the Niners will put up 35 on their own. And I could see the Browns kicking a field goal so this game goes over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.